Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Planet Coaster. Now, I started on Gulpies Island Paradise, but I just realised here, either I missed it completely because I wasn't looking properly, or they didn't have it written on it clearly when I started the career, but that one there says beginner. And then that one there says easy, and medium, and medium, and the one that we're on, it said new, and I got distracted with the new. Um, Gulpies Island Paradise. This is medium. This is not beginner. So I'm wondering if we ought to go to this one here. Start new scenario here on uh, Captain Lockjaw's Buried Treasures Beginner. Pirate Battle and Creature Awakens and Pirate Co. Former pirate turned entrepreneur Pegleg Pete appears to be struggling somewhat. Uh, this Avast Me Hearty's Wealth of the Planet Coaster. So maybe... We'll go here, start new scenario. Maybe, just maybe, I should have done this first and it might have given me a little bit more of an introduction. I mean, I thought we were doing pretty well, to be honest. We're, we were busy making money on Gulpies Island Paradise and I'm going to go back to it. I will go back to doing that one some more. But it might be better if I just quickly go through some of this one because it's the staff and keeping the staff happy that we were starting to struggle with right at the end of the last episode. So that's the bit that I want to go and do. Uh, I just had a whole load of achievements come up. Well, achievement progress. We keep getting achievement progress coming up. Um, I don't know if you can see those or not. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. I think it depends on the game mode I'm recording in. Avast me hearties and welcome to Planet Coaster. Shiver those timbers and take charge of the explosive pirate park. Complete ride construction. Draw in crowds and give your guests a swashbuckling good time. Continue. Right, well, this this is supposed to be the, the, the easy, basic, uh, starter, beginner type stuff. Didn't tell me anything. I thought it was going to be like giving me some instructions on what I should do. Well, first of all, I suppose, let's go to objectives. Um, part, attract 800 guests, run 692, build two rides. And 900, build four rides, acquire 15,000. Right, well, I you know... I'm starting to think that maybe we could just carry on with the one that we're doing and I think that we're going to be doing all right because there's nothing new in here. It's not like giving us any extra bit. Our basic controls, yeah, we got that. You know what? I'm going to go back to Gulpies Island Paradise. We're going to carry on with that one rather than worrying about this one. Now, at the moment, we've got our roller coaster here. This one is uh, has a plain-looking queue. We need to do something to make it a bit more interesting for them here at the queue. Finances. Lifetime profit is minus 2,000. Last month, we made 1,000 on here. Currently, we're minus 1,000. We're losing a bit of money. Well, we're losing quite a bit of money. Rides and tickets. Why is rides and tickets so poor? Look here. Uh... Ride ticket sales, minus 700. Coaster, yeah. Small attraction, we don't have any. Ride running costs, 800. Coaster running costs, 400. Coaster, fairly similar there on all of them. And then shops and facilities. Shops and facilities is doing well. That's doing, that's doing quite good. And then park management down here. So staff wages is up. Uh, loan monthly... The loan payment is going to be expensive, but no, it's, it's, I don't understand why the rides and the tickets are costing us so much. We've got our loans here that we're paying off. I can't pay off any of the loans, and I currently have no cash either, which is not good. Why? Well, what are you doing? Okay, uh, this one was doing really well. There's nobody here. There is a lot of vomit in the park. Oh, uh, consider making first aid available. Toilet block six is not accessible from the park entrance. I got some rides going on over here. That one's working. But it's the janitors. We had a load of janitors, didn't we? And I think that's the problem. I think the janitors are miserable lot and it's, it's not working very well. Toilet block here. Toilet block six. It's apparently not... Where is Toilet Block 6? Ah! Right. Toilet Block 6 is round the back. So we need to make that one available. How can I do that? I know I can do that. I can take a... Right. 
there. The, the, the janitor is unhappy. High workload. Energy is low. Can't believe they're still making me work. I'm too tired to do anything. This is the problem. that We've got a load of janitors. And I don't really know how I'm supposed to deal with the janitors. Because they, they all, all they're doing is complaining. And I've not really got them to do anything else. So let's go to park management a minute. And staff here. Right. Janitors right there. Okay. Workload low. Normal and high. Right. So we got one high roster assignment. Free roaming. There is no other roster. We just do free roaming. They start there. Well, they do seem to be starting to pick up. He's heading to the staff building and he's heading to the staff building as well. Higher staff. All staff, entertainers. Let's go and have a look at here. No, uh, staff building. There, right. Staff rest, right. I don't have enough places for staff to rest in here. Um, but this is quite an expensive building to run. This is, that's, that seems to be the main problem. And I need to consider making first aid available. Everything costs money and I'm minor, I'm 1600 in the hole. 1600 in the hole here at the moment. Uh, let's go with a footpath there. I can bring that one out. Insufficient funds. I can't do anything. Theft reported. You guessed. Tammy Pew. Ready you. And. It says. View vandalism. Yeah, I've had a couple of acts of vandalism that I'm not able to do anything. Multiple shops are not able to be. ATM 5 is, un is, is not accessible. Yeah, well, I can't get... Oh, that's because it's, like, stuck up in the air, isn't it? Hmm. Um. And it's... That's actually costing me. So what I think I need to do is I need to demolish ATM 5. Because that, that one over there is running. But that one there, it can't... They can't access it. Select building. Ah, uh, you've got to have the whole building in order for it to be able to do something. Let's, let's demolish it. Get rid of that one completely. It's I, I can't see that it's going to be beneficial to keep it there. And what we're also going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to try and make a bit of money for, from some of these things. That item is locked. This one I can sell. Demolish. That gave me a bit of cash. What about you? Shark way. $20. $20? Item locked. Uh, right. My uh, my big problem I've got is that this one down here is currently not got any guests coming to it. I don't seem to have guests coming down there to that ride. And I've got very few guests on this one either. It's the, the toilet block 6 is not accessible. ATM, toilet... Right, well, the eight, I've got rid of the ATM. That one's gone. And I'm still losing piles and piles of money at the moment. Rides and ticket sales. This breaking even. Park management. Profit, minus 200. Construction costs. I made a little bit from construction. Car, park cash, park value. So we have some serious issues here, ladies and gentlemen. We have some very serious issues... Because I got all these people here. I mean, the, the, we're making money in these. Chief Beef looks busy. I'm thirsty after Chief Beef. And then this one over here. 1% uh, refreshing drinks. And then we've got more people over here. And that has been staffed as well. So I've got enough staff. I've got enough vendors to keep those running. And then I had another gulpy drinks over here. That one's working as well. I've got toilets over here. Toilet block 6 and toilet block 7. Toilet block 7 there. That's free. So it does cost us, but it's, um, it's good for the park to have that. This one round the back, we can't access at the moment. And we're going to need to be able to do that. We m m Profit. This, this, is our, this is our main issue. Is we've got no profits coming in at all. So, waiting for customers. Uh, Gulpy Rex. He gets 125. Resting. Serving customers. I've got two of these people. They're 75 each. Uh, resting. Resting. Heading to toilet block 7. Staff building. Going to bin. 
Generally, our janitors are now much happier, except for the... What is wrong with these idiots here? Absolute morons. That's what they are. Absolute morons. If you just go and rest a minute... If you ride, this one is broken down. Yeah, well, this one's just not had people on it anyway. I don't really get what's going on here. Maintenance. I should have a maintenance schedule. There. Recent downtime. Reliability average. Next inspection. 27 min... Why is it not... Ah... Okay, I know why it's all going horribly wrong. I don't have a mechanic on hand, do I? This is what we need. Um, park management, janitor, vendor, mechanic, work rosters here, create new roster, facilities, entertainment, track, amusement rides. Mechanics will only interact with the selected ride if assigned to this. Vendors will only try to work in the selected shops. Multi-select to define prior... Okay, let's ignore that. I don't have any mechanics. This is the problem. This, this, is, this is where we're going wrong. I need a mechanic. Maintains and fixes rides. So let's uh, dump you in there. It's going to end up costing me, that is. He's going to go in and going to go and fix that. I've only got... I don't need any more than one mechanic. I think one mechanic is fine. Let's get rid of that. You up here. This one's working very well. Two minutes overdue. We need every 30 minutes. We need a inspection. This one over here is 30 minutes overdue. We need an inspection uh, inspection on that one. And this one here is recent downtime, 2%. Time broken down during the last eight months. He's fixing that one. And when he's fixed that one, then we can carry on with some more stuff. So this ride here. Are we making a profit yet? Minus 2,300. Monthly running, potential income, uh, potential monthly, last month's profit, 59.90. Why is it so low? Why is everything so low? I don't get what I've done wrong. I really don't understand what I've done wrong here, because people are not staying. They're, they're coming in, and then they're leaving, and they're not coming back. Seems to be the problem we've got. Um, my guest happiness. Ride rating 156. They're happy with that. Scenery, park balance, marketing bonus. Bonus from guest happiness minus 6%. Biggest drop. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I don't think there's anything there. Ticket prices. Standard entrance fee. I'm so unhappy. I'm on my way home. Why are you unhappy? There's good bad things. Overall, this park was amazing. I don't want to leave. There's not enough to do. Well, I don't get why it's... Why they're so unhappy. There's a lot of vomit in the park. Consider making first aid available. You're unhappy. I really don't like these janitors. They're, there's more... Sp what is with the janitors? Seriously. Training. Do I need to train you? Increased productivity, happiness, and higher salary expectation. I can't train you. I'm minus 2,700 now. I'm losing money hand over fist here. This is this is awful. I am absolutely losing a pile of cash at the moment. This one is open. But there is nobody here. Multiple staff members have quit. Janitor, janitor, janitor. They're all a bunch of complaining windbags, and they shouldn't... I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Next staff level capable. It might be because I'm currently employing morons and I need to train them up so they're not morons. That that could be the next thing that we need to do. Uh, this one here, I've got... I set all of these to not go quite so insane. Right. Uh, edit building with selected part. Play once every 43 seconds. It's doing more than that. It's, it's, this thing's going nuts. Uh, turn off. That would be better. And then you. Yeah, stationary. You down there. Nope. Stationary. Turn them off. Let's not have quite so much explosions. And then you can be stationary as well. Right. And then, let's go back to you. Can I rehire these? I don't want to rehire them. I don't like them. They're, um... They're, they're nothing but an absolute nuisance, these janitors. Overview. No. Uh, staff. There. And then I want to go all staff. Those three have left. The others seem quite 
Good. And she seems a little stressed. They seem stressed, low energy. Heading to staff buildings. Hmm. I think I'm... Yeah, so what I need to do is... How do I rehire them? Click. Nope. He's quit. Leaving park. This is the worst job ever. I'm out of here. Well, why not tell me what you want? Seriously, your workload was low throughout. There is nothing... Absolutely nothing here. Rehire staff, $60. Yeah, let, get rid of him. He, he can leave. Um, there's a lot of vomit in the park. Getting the first... So I want first aid. That... You know what? I've got an idea. That we've, we've completely and utterly failed on this. Monthly profit has gone absolutely through the floor. Research there didn't seem to do us anything. Loan. Now, total monthly repayments are insanely high. Add new, you've taken out the maximum number of loans, and many objects are vandalized. Consider hiring a mechanic, improving security, and addressing guest happiness. Yeah, I've tried to do all of that, and none of this has worked, right? This entire park is a complete and total failure now. This one is actually working. It's actually being successful. This one here is working. What about uh, overview? New, 18 minutes. Okay, so we've got our mechanic. He's busy, and he's servicing. Q time. Oh, that's the Q time. Uh, I don't want Q time. I want prestige finances testing. Nope. There. Serve it. Seven minutes overdue. This one here is 35 minutes overdue. And this one over here is not for another 26 minutes, but it's it's closed. So I'm selling the ride. That gave me a thousand. What about you? Ride ticket booth. That one can go. Toilet block six is not accessible. Right, so we've made... Let's, let's just say we've made some mistakes. I got notifications coming in everywhere. Everyone's quitting. Um, this this is not easy. So um, go away. Just, just go away. I'm not interested. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. And I'm going to... No, I'm not going to quit. Uh, load settings. Can I restart? I want to restart. That's what I want. I'm looking for a, a start over again. Multi-selection, toggle. Oh, we got a pause button there. Change simulation speed, terrain. Let's speed this up and let's just see if what we've got at the moment is going to improve or if it's really going to go downhill big time. Because the money is kind of hovering around the same. <laughs> Look at that. Vomit everywhere. Yeah, we know that. We know there's vomit everywhere. That's not going to change. At no point is that going to get any better. We've just got lots of food here. 20 people. That one's good. This one's doing well. When I have a look in here and I have a look at the finances, we've got... That is slowly generating, slowly turning into a profit. That one down there is making a profit as well. But the money here... October last year, overall, we lost minus 1,900, which is actually a fair bit less than the loan that we've got. Mechanic is unhappy. Yeah, they're all unhappy. All of the staff are unhappy, right? I'm, I'm starting to really dislike all the staff. This may look familiar and a little bit different as well. I've decided to restart it because I've learned a few things from the last time round and I think we can do better. So first up, we're going to pause this, and I'm not going to allow time to trickle forward until we've gotten a few things established. So first up, let's go and have a look at the loans. Now, we currently have one loan of 10000 and we're paying 750 per month. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to add a new loan. I'm going to take a full twenty grand instead of the other one, and I'm going to pay off this loan here, total saving 4900 Pay that one off completely, like that. That one is done. Okay, so we've now got this loan here, and if I increase the amount, I actually reduce, uh, I'm going to put that up to 2,000 a month, and that's, uh, actually, I can, so I can lower it down. I didn't realize I could do this. Right, so yeah, it, I am going to have to repay quite a bit more, but 1,000 a month is a lot better. So that's the first thing we're doing, is um, taking care of that. And then security management over here. We've got nothing on that. Camera statistics. Uh, monthly running costs. Okay, that's fine. So then we can go to park. Oh, no. Park management overview right here. Uh, finances, research, marketing, staff. That's what we want. Okay, all staff. 
I've got three janitors here, and they're not entirely happy at the moment anyway. And I think they're fairly useless. Janitors appear to be fairly useless people. So let's go and get some more janitors. I don't know why we can't have janitors that are actually good at their jobs and you're just good for the general park and everything. So I got one there, put one there, and I'll put one there as well. And then we're going to go back to park management and we're going to get a mechanic and I'm going to have one of them. And then I'm going to go back to park management. I'm going for security. I'm going to get a couple of those. Like that. And then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to vendors. Now, we've got... I think we've got two of these at the moment. So I want some... Actually, let's just take a look at what we do have. So all staff at the moment. i got Dale Giles as the vendor. I've only got one vendor. So I've now got six janitors, one mechanic... And two security guards. That's a good start. And then I want to go to vendors right here. I've only got one vendor, so I want more of those. So we'll go to higher staff, and I'm going to get some more of these. So I've got one, two, three. So that makes four of them all together. Uh, five and six vendors, because I want to do... Yeah, okay, six vendors. Six vendors, I think, is going to be a good number. And then, right, so we'll leave that. And then we can go back to management. So that is the four different ones that we got. And then we've got Great Stories, The Spirit, and Gulpy, The Taste of Dinosaurs Love. Yeah, okay, we'll ignore all of that. Marketing, attract more visitors. So we won't worry about that for a minute. Overview. Oh, no, go back to staff a minute. I've got work rosters, security guards, mechanics, vendors, gen and entertainers, and all of that. So I want to go to the staff building. I have a capacity of three people in here. I want a higher capacity. If I go for a capacity of eight, uh, how many staff have I got altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got sixteen members of staff. So if we say that half of our members of staff are able to come and rest, uh, confirm 500 to do that. So monthly running cost of this one is 700. Staff resting currently is one. Right, now a perk. Staff healthcare. More resilient against being overworked, uh, against being underworked, gain happiness faster. While well, resting, staff will learn more about their job, bring their training date forward. Rec room, recover energy faster. All right, let's do learning resources. Confirm. There. So it's now 800 a month for that. So we're able to train the staff as well. Now, if I have a look at my janitors, I'd like to... Staff training, 120. Can't train until the 18th of March. So it would also be a good idea, I think, to train these three members of staff. Pay is going to have to go up now, isn't it? Oh, no. Right, so, how much am I supposed to pay them? Can't train. Jack Langford. Training makes it all so easy. Am I supposed to be paying him more? Training level. Uh, workload low. Already been scheduled to be trained and will do so next time they rest in a staff building. And you as well. I want to... I'm not sure if I should be increasing their pay. Like that. I'm going to leave the pay as it is for a minute. I'm, I'm, I may need to do something with that. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know about the pay. So we've got those, and they're all sort of ready to go. Now, I did have a blueprint here. There it is. I got that blueprint right there, which is brilliant. I want this one. And I need to... You press Z, and then you can just rotate it around like that. And that's going to give us a building... Which I can then put there so that we've got Gulpy right there. So we've we've got some stuff uh, available for the people. And then I'm going to go over to here. And now I want to get, not my blueprints, I want to go shops and facilities here. Food shop, drink, gift, toilets, first aid, ATM, information, park entrance, staff, management. Pirate staff building. Ah, uh, staff building. Okay, we don't care about that. Food shop. We got the Pirate Double Shipwreck Food Store. 
The Pirate Fortress. Now, that's the thing that's covered in guns, and I really didn't like those. Um, Planet Coaster Food. Double Shipwreck Store. However, the thing, even though this thing is covered in guns, it is uh, quite good for the food. You know, a lot of people like the food and that they were eating the food, and, and, and that was a good thing. So I'm going to put that one down there. But what I'm also going to do is I don't want all of these. I, I, I don't like them just going continuously because they sound terrible. So we're going to turn these into stationary ones rather than um, constant explosions. I wonder if I can remove it. That's better. Just remove all of these cannons. I get a little bit of money back for them as well. I didn't realise I got that. Okay, and then we can come around this side. I've got three exploding barrels. I'm going to keep one of them. The others I'm going to get rid of. So it's $30 for that one. That one can go. And then you up there. You're just a wooden barrel. You there, though. You are going to be playing every... Three seconds? I don't think so. Let's try every 43 seconds. Let's up that a bit more, shall we? There we go. Right. And done. There. That has now been edited. Chief Beef. Shops and facilities. There. And then I've got staff in there. Items for sale. We've got these. We've got extras. Now, I want to make the happier and thirstier. More energetic and happier. So basically, if I add all of these in, it makes people happier. And then I'll also do the price sink thing. Just add in everything like this and it makes everybody happier. I don't know if I should be increasing the price for it if I'm doing that. Maybe add an extra dollar onto each one for all of those bits and pieces. I, I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And finances. Okay. We'll leave that one on there, and then I can come over to here, and I can go to that shop right there. No vendor available at the moment. That's fine. We won't worry about that. So ice, uh, unhappier. Lemon slice makes them happier, as does that. There. Uh, gold P, zero. I can put a lemon slice. And then lemon slice as well, and then use these prices and everything for everyone else. Um, zero calorie. We'll make that a dollar extra. Uh, the watermelon flavor, that can be a dollar extra as well. And normal gulp, uh, yeah, the, the flavored ones will be a dollar extra, and so will the zero calorie. And then the normal one there, that'll be five dollars. And I've got price sync on, yep, I've got price sync on. So they will all work as well. Okay, so I've got all of those bits. Next up, I want to go for building, no I don't. I want to go shops and facilities. I want to go for first aid. Pirate first aid or Western simple? No, it, it's a pirate theme, so we need to, we need to go with pirate. Um, where am I going to put this one? I, I kind of need first aid. I I need first aid here on the island, but I'm not sure where to put. Stop yelling at me! It's not your job to yell at me. It's my job to yell at you. Okay? Don't forget that. Right. I'm not really sure where this one is supposed to go. It's, um... Actually, I'm not sure why. It's it's all in shadow. The whole thing seems... If I got it... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh! You press and hold shift, and then you move your mouse button, and it, um... That's, that's why it's doing that. Right. So if I bring this one back over here... Now, I put a ride up there last time. Oh, actually, ah, down here. This this would be the spot. This This would be where we can put it. I'll move that one there, and I'll rotate that round a bit. Uh, gonna have to lift that up from there. So I go shift, and then it lifts up like that. But it's not like going into the edge of the, the road. Um, it could go in there. I could actually put it in here, and I could put it right in there. Put it up there like that. Thinking that's probably not the best place to put it. Let's come out there. Lower you down a bit, and I'll move in. Ah, now, now that was that was actually that seemed like a, a positive thing there. Oh, it's this direction. I got I got to have that there. There's the the entrance to it. I thought the entrance was over here on these doors. Okay, so I could move this one back here like this, and that's too far back. But I can put it there if I want to. I don't, I, I, I don't want to, as you can see. 
but I can put it in here and that would allow people to access it fairly well I think we go there turn that one round and then I got a little bit of a ramp here we go 600 and people can access it there we go right so I've got a first aid here in the park as well and an ATM they were talking about the ATM before so I'll go with that one there now I'm gonna move this one back over here this time and we're going to also rotate this one round a bit so that it goes there and this then I both of them can access it both of these can be accessed that's much much better uh, I had a major problem with this last time there we go I got two ATMs in there that is absolutely perfect uh, ATMs I need to set these so we want to go there finance no yeah ah, right price I, of course, I'm going to charge them to withdraw money. We're going to do $2.50 as a fee to withdraw anything from these and use price sync. So you can use it if you want to, but it's going to cost you $2.50 per use on that. And then I want some toilets there. We've got the pirate double pirate toilets right there. Now this one, we want to... Where am I going to put these? I put a big ride there last time, didn't I? I want to... I've, I've, Actually, I'd like to put them down here somewhere. Sort of thinking here, but I can't get round the back of them. We are going to need to be able to get round the back of them as well. i got an area there for a ride. Don't really want to put it here too close to the food because I, I don't think it's very hygienic. I could put it up here. We could go up here, look. And if I rotate that round... If I was to do that, there, see how this works. Is that going to work? I'll put that one there, right, and then I can go to footpath here. Bring that onto there, like that, and that one out that way as well, and bring you down there. So... We've now got access to the toilets as well. That's that's worked. I've managed to do that successfully. So we've got toilets. We've got first aid. We've got a whole load of shops in here. We've got um, an ATM machine over there. Is there anything I need to set on first aid? Edit building. Uh, there's first aid one right here. Finance. Use the same prices. And um, well, no, first aid will be free, of course. We're not going to be charging for first aid. What are we? Um, okay, so we've got first aid in here. We do charge for the ATMs, but um, we don't charge for anything else. So we want some rides on here. So let's go in here. I liked the insanity one. That one was good. We got the loop de loop there. Excitement 4000. This one here, the Monteleone. Cycler. Uh, teacups. We'll put some teacups in. Excitement 2.7. So you want, you really, you want to put in something small for the little kids. That's always good. And we'll go back for an insanity. We will do an insanity again. I'm going to put insanity in here this time. Now, I need to... Last time I put insanity down here somewhere. But I think what I need to do... I can put insanity there like that if I want to. I can like raise it right up in this. So how did I do this last time? I thought I had it there. I definitely didn't have it that way round. I had it like oh no, I had it that way round, I think. And then I moved it here. Oh I had it back slightly. I had it set up sort of over here somewhere. But that's the ticket booth there. And then I moved the entrance to it away a little bit. So we put that one back up there like that there we go view objectives a bronze objective achieve a park of 15,000 haven't actually done very much I do apologize that it was sort of I'm, I've basically been redoing what I did previously but I think this is going to be worth it I think this is definitely going to make it uh, a lot better for us as a park if I can do this properly this time around now that I've kind of figured out what I'm doing I figure that I'm doing a better job of this now I'm going to take that one up there
And then over here, I want a nice long queue for this one. Why are you going up there? Don't go that way. That's where we want to go. There. Why have I got... Ang oh, I got angle snap. I want to take that off. Okay, well, let's stop trying to delete the path. And I've now got this one coming down here. And it seems to actually be working. So we, we, won't, we won't question this in any way. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. But it looks like we've got our entrance here. Everything is all set up and ready to go. Maintenance is going to be uh, every 30 minutes. And um, we're going to go in a test. We'll go testing. Like that. And I'm going to press P. Toggle pause. Right. That's now going to run through its testing. That is the first ride. We've got everything else set up in here as well. We've got all of the people. We've got janitors. We've got people who can train. The only issue that I've got really is whether or not janitors... I guess I'm content with my job. Is whether or not I need to increase their wages. Uh, next, increase productivity. Next staff level. Capable staff statistics. Uh, well, it's not really going to tell me very much at the moment. We've got those. That one over there is open as well. So they should be able to help people out. We've got food over here. Which is excellent. And uh, what is this up here? The Citadel. That doesn't really have anything in it. I think it's just like a, a thing for people to walk in and out of. i got the toilets up here. That is fine. Uh, I come down there. And then i got that ride there. So I want another ride. A, like a basic one. Which I'm wondering where I should put. I could put something pretty cool in there. Track rides, I suppose. We've got a white washer. A white water, rather. And we've got a boom boat. That one there. Okay, that's um, quite a bit bigger than I thought. That, that is, that is a, a, a fair bit bigger than I, I thought. Bring that one in there. So where's the entrance to it? That's, that's the entrance there. Uh, I guess I could bring it all the way over to here to this bit. Right, well, we're not going to do that one. Let's, let's try this one here. This is another sort of white water type thing. I had a bigger one over there last time. So where's the entrance to this? It goes there. Let me, let me twist that round. That would, that would work well here, I think, if I was to do that, but... You see where the entrance has got to be. It's got to be way up. So let's not try that one for a minute. That's the track rides. And we've got coasters here. And I had a smaller coaster. I've got rides, coasters, track rides. 7,000. I like the idea of having... Right, let's go with the boom boat here. Uh, we'll press P. I want to pause this. I don't want to run out of money before I actually get this one installed because th this could be very cool. Um, now, where is the best place to install such a monster? We we can't. I've, we do need to lift it up, so I've got to raise the whole thing up, but not quite that high. There is not a good place to put it. That's not going to work. I've got a path here. Now, people come into the island from over that way. They're like, yeah, they're coming through a really big, long tunnel to get into the island. So we could put it over there. But I'm actually thinking that over this side might be a better spot for it. So if I can rotate that round, and it looks like the entrance is the bit up the top there. That's where it starts. And then they go out one side, and then they run round, and then they go out the other side as well. So I could drop it there. That would fit. That would work. Move it out a little bit. Doesn't... They keep shouting at me, so I'm starting to think that maybe it won't... Oh. Oh, the red. If it's red, it doesn't fit. But if it's not red, it does fit. So I can put that one there. Oh, back a bit. There. That fits. And then we use the shift button. That's too low. There. It's the lowest point. I've done it. I have built it. I have actually built this ride right here. So there's the entrance and exit there. So we've got to try and do this. So I need the entrance here. 
And literally, I can do it either side here. So I'm going to put the ent. Where should the entrance be? Is that the entrance? That's the guy that's running it. So the entrance. That's the exit there, isn't it? So what's this bit? I'm going to assume that we want to put the entrance here. And then we want to put the exit there like that. I could move this one. We can put the two of them side by side like that. There. Connect entrance path. Right, now you come out of there. And I now need you to drop down. Uh... How do I get you to lower up and down? It's, it, placing the footpath is quite tricky, actually. I want to... Ah, right. I've got to press shift. And then it will raise up and down. Like that. And then I can do that. And, and that does actually do it right. So I want to bring you out that way. There. And then... Hmm. This, this is the difficult bit, is trying to get this to lift up and down. How do I get you to raise up and down so that you're, you're definitely dropping down? I want you to I want you to go downwards. Path, Q. Yeah, well, we're on Q bit at the moment. Okay. You're coming over this way. I, mean, I, I need you to be a str... I need you to be steps now. If you, if you could be steps. Nope, that's no good. That moves it round, and then bringing that down. So that lowers down like this, and then I can sort of I can sort of do that. But no, that that's trying to snap on. So angle snap, um, ninety. Ah, uh, I see. I get what that is. That's um, just the different angles that it'll move at. So uh, we got width. We got align to grid. Build paths on a 4 meter grid relative to building a path. Choose an existing building or path as a reference. So what I want to do is I want to build this one out from here. That would be a good place to start. We can bring it out here. I want to bring you up to there. You know, why, why aren't you lifting? That's, that's a, a, a problem for me. There. Get rid of you and you. And... Right, this this is a bit of an issue. It's a, a, I'm not sure why I'm snapping to that. Let me see if I can figure this one out. Uh, I've sort of got it, but I'm still not 100% on this. It's trying to get the angles and everything right. So I've, I've sort of got some of it, but I'm still not very good at it. So I'm just removing these excess bits that have been built here by mistake and remove that one as well and then I'll put that down to two it might be easier so you, you put that one in there and then you press U and that forces it up like that and then you can click it in place uh, but then it's making sure that you've actually got the thing at the right height uh, at the moment I've gone too high so I need to just remove that one and I need to put that down to a one meter section so it goes to there and then, if I press and hold the button, I can actually do that. So, I can do it like that. And now, I want to just connect these two together, like that. Bring that out. And join that in there. Right, so I've got that one. I've gotten that much done. Connect. Right, well, it won't let me do that. Uh, oh, I, that's that's a queue there, and I can't have a queue there. So I want the lovely blue path here. So then if I press U, and then I can lower it down like that, and that will actually allow it to be built. Right, so we, we've I've kind of figured this one out. So there's stairs that'll come down there, and that'll join in, and then I can do a straight run from there. I'll come back this way, and it's going to actually come through here. Like this. Down there. And it's going to join in 
to that side over there like that. Now, this one here, we've got a long queue coming up, so I think that's probably going to be all right. I don't think we need to worry too much about scenery, although it probably wouldn't hurt to have something for them to look at. The queue, they're going to say that the queue is really boring, so I suppose we could like put in a couple of these trees here like this. Put that in there, and that is at the end of a footpath right there. And then it, it comes right in, and there's the, the guy right on the edge. So I need to remove some of these items here, I think, in order to allow everything to get through, which is also going to be removing some of these trees. And I have gone way over what I intended to do today, so I'm just going to do this as quickly as I can now, get rid of some of this stuff. Get rid of that anchor there. Right, is that footpath now all clear? Yes. Although there are trees, I've now got trees right in the way. So if I remove that tree at least, yes. Now people can get up there without sort of being choked up. But the last thing I need to do is just remove all of these planks here that are going to stop people from actually being able to get through into here. And I'm hoping that they will now be able to get into this ride. So I go like that, remove that one and remove that one as well they should now be able to get into the right i'm hoping is that it, it does look like they can and they can get out of the ride as well and then that's that's it this is all done we'll do testing and other such things like that in our next episode i'm hoping i'm doing this well because like i said I've had to do all of this without being able to see anybody's comments, so this may be a little bit frustrating for some of you to start with, but I'm hoping it's not too bad. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well, that would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, this is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.